third Sunday of Advent. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Your response shall be My soul rejoices in my God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. Response My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation. Response My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy. Response My soul rejoices in my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you, so we can give an answer to those who sent us? What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize, if you are not the Christ, or Elijah, or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection Who are you? 
John the Baptist had no difficulty answering this question when the authorities came to investigate him. If someone challenged your identity both naturally and spiritually, how would you answer? There's an identity war going on today, and many are in crisis or at least confused. We can try to manufacture identity, but it's derived. And its true source and maker is God who made us in his image and likeness. Why did the Jewish leaders question John the Baptist's identity? They were in earnest to know if the Messiah had come. They wanted to know if John claimed to be the Messiah or one of the great prophets who was expected to return at the coming of the Messiah. John had no mistaken identity. In all humility and sincerity he said he was only a voice bidding people to prepare the way for the coming of the King. John the Baptist bridges the Old and New Testaments. He is the last of the Old Testament prophets who points the way to the Messiah. He is the first of the New Testament witnesses and martyrs. He is the herald who prepares the way for Jesus and who announces his mission to the people, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John saw from a distance what the Messiah came to accomplish, our redemption from slavery to sin and our adoption as sons and daughters of God, our Heavenly Father. Do you recognize your identity as a child of God and a citizen of heaven? John was the greatest of the prophets, yet he lived as a humble and faithful servant of God. He pointed others to Jesus, Messiah and Savior of the world. The Christian Church from the earliest of times has given John many titles which signify his mission, Witness of the Lord, Trumpet of Heaven, Herald of Christ, Voice of the Word, Precursor of Truth, Friend of the Bridegroom, Crown of the Prophets, Forerunner of the Redeemer, Preparer of Salvation, Light of the Martyrs, and Servant of the Word. Do you point others to Christ by your witness and example? Lord Jesus, make me a herald of your word of truth and grace. Help me to be a faithful witness of the joy of the gospel and to point others to you as John did through his testimony.